Apparently Ariana is sleeping with her crown on. She is not going to give this title up lately. So she's gone to bed with her crown on her head. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethwin and we are back today for some more 100 Baby Challenge with our matriarch, Katherine Larson, who has had nine children and is currently pregnant with child number 10. In our last episode, we had another set of twins, which, you know, putting your house on the ley line definitely makes multiples happen very frequently and adds a whole new layer of challenge <laughs> to this challenge. So we've, we're have we doing pretty well. We've moved out three young adult sims. Uh, we have a full house. Well, with Catherine being pregnant, we've got a full house happening right now. And it is currently the weekend in the game. So this is kind of going to be that time where the kids are going to be working on getting their skills up so that they can get A's and move on with their lives and Catherine can have some more babies. So going into a game, it is Saturday morning. Catherine is up tending to babies because we do have uh, twins. Uh, we have Brody and we have Jen, which are our latest set of twins. And it does appear to be New Year's Eve in the game. So we can put up some decorations for that and to make the house look a little festive. It's raining. So Catherine is our, our matriarch. She is currently pregnant. We just found out that she was pregnant. So she still has 19 hours to go until her second trimester. And while she's tending to the babies, we can go ahead and make a New Year's resolution for her. Um, you know, I think maybe we'll just have her raise up a skill. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to have her do. She could knit. Uh, she is a lady of the knits, but honestly has done very little actual knitting, unfortunately, because it's not easy raising all of these children by herself. Then we have Vivian. Vivian was the from the second set of twins that Catherine had. Her twin, Jocelyn, uh, aged up and moved out in the last episode. I decided to do that so that I didn't have to wait through the entire weekend before aging them up and moving them out. I wanted to get Catherine pregnant again so that we can keep going with, with these babies. So Vivian is now ready to go to get her A. She just really needs to go to school on Monday. And I think she has all of her character values. Yeah, her character values for responsibility are in the right range. So really, she just needs to get to Monday. The third set of twins are Ariana and Jonathan. Uh, they both need to get skills to level three. So we'll be working on that this weekend. Kaylin so far is the lone single. She has a C in school right now, but looks like she'll be getting an A when she goes to school on Monday. Really, this is all about getting to Monday at this point. The twins do like like they're going to have their birthday today. So we will have a birthday. We'll be aging up some some twins today. Also in the last episode, Catherine aged up into an adult. I do have aging turned on during pregnancy just to kind of keep things interesting as far as the challenge. Oh my goodness. We got lightning striking things up here. Just to kind of keep things interesting with the way the challenge is going. Uh, so we'll, our matriarchs will change. So Catherine doesn't really have anyone quite lined up yet to be the next baby donor. We do have a little bit of a romance with Paolo. Uh, Paolo is married though, so we might consider looking at someone else. We did have a kid with Christopher Volkov, but they weren't a werewolf. So we might head over to Moonwood Mill and see if we can find a werewolf for Catherine to meet and start to romance as a potential baby, da baby donor. It's also not a full moon, which is not a bad time to head over there so that Catherine doesn't get terrified by any werewolves running around. All right, so heading over to Moonwood Mill, we're going to pop over to the, the bar over here and just see if we can encounter any of the werewolves of Moonwood Mill. Let's see. So I know that one of the packs hangouts is close by, so we can look over here and see 
Well, there's Rory. Let's come meet Rory. Caleb Vitor is here as well. We will have a vampire baby at some point, but the vampires, since they don't age, they can they can wait a little bit. We need a mermaid as well. Okay, so Catherine has met Rory. Let's take a look at their initial reaction. Okay, so Catherine perceives Rory as basic looking and strong minded. But Rory finds Catherine to be a little bit annoying, probably because Catherine is childish. And that can definitely have a negative effect on people. However, we were like instantly became friends with Rory, which is kind of interesting. That was like really fast, <laughs> which is interesting because Caleb is sitting right here. And we know that there is tension between the werewolves and the vampires. So fortunately, Caleb and Rory don't seem to be having any conflict at the moment. So Catherine seems to have really hit things off with Rory quite a bit. They've become really quickly become friends. And Catherine is starting to flirt a little bit. So they have already started to have like a bit of a romance. Ooh, and throughout the conversation, Catherine got the impression that Rory finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. So it sounds like Rory is attracted to uh, Catherine. Oh, interesting. And now we just got a call from Makoa, who is the father of our third set of twins. So Ariana and Jonathan saying, I just sent you money to buy yourself something delicious. I mean, yeah, let's accept the money. Okay. Well, 44 simoleons. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks, Makoa. That was, that was good. We'll take, we'll take free money. All right, so Catherine is feeling pretty sleepy, and it is New Year's, and they're going to be up late, probably watching the countdown. So I think we're going to send Catherine home so she can have a little bit of nap, a nap before new midnight. Kaylin, stop making a mess. All right, Catherine, get up and come and tell her to stop making a mess. Maybe don't talk to your kid about labor pains. Poor Catherine. She just wants to take a nap and, like... Kaylin is in here making a huge mess all over the floor. Vivian is like sitting in here like talking to Catherine about her homework, which she did just finish, feeling very tense because she doesn't like making decisions. And oh, Catherine has to pee too. All right, so we've lectured Kaylin and we'll have Kaylin clean up the mess that she just made. I mean, she is feeling very playful because she did make the mess, but Catherine is like, there's... We have so many kids living here. You can't just make messes for the sake of making messes. And I think we'll have Vivian come help tend to Jen here since Catherine has some needs that she needs to meet for herself. This pregnancy is definitely being kind of hard on Catherine. Okay, Ariana just reached level three of the video gaming skill, which is good because she needed that to get an A. And let's see, what are her character values looking like? She needs to improve those. So why don't you do your homework? I know it's Saturday, but we can have people doing their homework. Jonathan isn't quite there yet. Oh, prom is starting. Get dressed up and rock the dance floor with other high school students. Will you attend? You know what, since Catherine really needs a break, let's take the teenagers to prom and just see how this goes. We're gonna change it up a little bit. We haven't really done anything with the high schoolers, but we're gonna take our three teenagers to prom and let Catherine have a bit of a break from everything and see how this goes. Okay, we have made it to prom. And all right, Vivian needs to vote for prom royalty. Oh my goodness, Ariana is just become very attracted to Max Villarreal, apparently. Interesting. Oh, and Alexander Goth. Okay. Well, let's start, though. Let's have Vivian come over and vote for prom royalty. Maybe we'll have her vote for... We'll have her vote for her sister, for Ariana. And they want to eat something, so you guys can come and grab something to eat. You can also grab something to eat. And then... Ariana will vote for prom. They'll vote for each other. And honestly, I think that Jonathan would make a perfect jester. <laughs> let's be honest. It's too bad he can't vote for himself. He'll vote for, let's have him vote for Taku. Why not? 
I love too how they're here in like their winter wear. They're not even like dressed. Let's have them change into their formal outfits. All right, everyone has changed. We're in our formal wear, dancing. Oh, dancing is in my bones. Yeah, sure. Jonathan can like the dancing skill. That seems pretty, pretty accurate. Oh, the prom award ceremony is starting. All right, so we'll see if it, who wins the awards for things. All right, prom royalty was Ariana Larson and prom jester was Taku Akiyama. Honestly, I think, I think that Jonathan should have been jester. But Ariana won prom royalty, so good for her. Vivian is feeling very bored. I, I think Vivian is not really having the best time. All right, so prom is over. I think though, wait, what are we doing? Wait, what, what's happening? Okay. Um, no, we're gonna, we're gonna just go home because it's New Year's and we want to celebrate with the countdown and we're gonna just send everybody back home. But prom was, prom was a success for all three of them. All right, they are back home just in time for everyone to kind of gather around the TV to watch the countdown to midnight and kind of finish off this New Year's. Why can't you watch the countdown? Like, there's nothing wrong. Like, everybody can gather on the TV. It's fine. Or everyone's going to go to bed. That's all right, too. I guess they're all just super tired and have decided to skip the countdown and go to bed, which is not very, you know, typical of teenagers, but it is what it is. All right, everyone is heading off to bed. Apparently, Ariana is sleeping with her crown on. She is not going to give this title up lately. So she's gone to bed with her crown on her head and everyone, all of the kids are getting into bed and we can age up the twins. So it is kind of like the middle of the night, but Catherine's doing okay energy wise. Um, she's almost in her second trimester. So maybe we'll just have her come in and age up Brody and Jen and then we can give them a little bit of a makeover. All right, so Brody is aged up, so we're going to randomize his tray and see what kind of toddler Brody is going to be. So Brody will be a charmer. Okay. And he aged up with a little bucket hat on. Very cute. All right, and then next will be Jen. And Jen's toddler tray will be also a charmer. Okay, so we have two charmers. Very good. And we're going to go ahead and give these guys like a quick makeover in Cass and get them ready to go. All right. So I'm going to give them a makeover and then we will go from there. All right. So they have had a quick makeover. So here is Brody and here is Jen all made over. Now Brody is already ready for sleep. So we'll have Catherine come over and read Brody to sleep. Jen also is ready for sleep as well. So we'll get her ready for bed too. Catherine is actually knitting. <laughs> she has not done much knitting because it's just been so hectic around here that she has not had much time to sit and knit, but she's finally sitting down and knitting. Good job, Catherine. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Vivian is hysterical. This isn't good. We need to quickly have Vivian come and try to calm herself down. We really do not need one of our kids dying because if our kid dies, they don't count. So quickly, Vivian, calm yourself down, girl. Like deep breaths. Yes, breathe deeply. Breathe deep. You're okay. It's all right. All right. Very good. Now you're very focused and you can go back to finish cooking breakfast for your siblings. Oh, that was close. Jen and Brody are both like super hungry, so they need to come and eat. Actually, I think Paka'a is a, is a mermaid or a mer person. So we're gonna have Catherine introduce themselves to Paka'a before they walk. Hurry, 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 quick, quick, quick. No, Paka, don't leave, don't leave. Catherine, go talk to them, Catherine. Catherine, stop standing there like an idiot. Go talk to Paka. Oh my gosh. They're walking away. Go quickly. Paka, come back. Come back. No. No. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Paka has left. Elliot is calling. Oh, hey. Elliot has fallen in love with Hitomi Takauchi, which he called and asked about last time. So good for him. 
We have made it around to Monday morning now and we're kind of, everyone is starting to wake up. It's still pretty early, but people are starting to wake up and get ready for the day. Catherine is awake and eating some breakfast. The twins are going to be waking up and needing some potty training really soon. So she's going to need to go and tend to them. But we have all of the teenagers are in a good place to, to go to school potentially. I, I mean, I think we have the potential to move out all three of them i think well let's let's look and see what character values are so ariana does have her responsibility in range and so does jonathan and so does vivienne so we're very it's very possible that we're going to be moving out three teenagers once they get home from school but it looks like we missed missed our window to potty train brody but that's okay we can wake him up I did not realize that you could actually have your toddlers watch another toddler go potty to raise their potty skill. I did not know that. So now that I know this, we're going to have Brody come and watch Jen go potty, which honestly is a little weird and creepy, but hey, whatever works to get those potty skills up, right? But Catherine has now moved into her third trimester, so she is getting close to having this baby, and the sink has broken again. I swear, something is always broken in this house. It's like the way it goes. All right, all of the kids are heading off to school. Catherine is in here knitting with Brody sitting next to her on the Wabbit tablet, who he's working on his thinking skill. Catherine just leveled up her knitting skills, so she has finished her resolution, which is really good, and is feeling very inspired by all of it. So Brody is in here. He is working on his thinking skill. He has got his communication to level two, and he's almost got his thinking skill to level two. Jen is out here playing with dolls, and she has her imagination and movement skill to level two, and is really close on that potty skill. So they're just going to kind of work on these things while the others are at school. Oh, and the bills have arrived. Oh, dear. All right, Brody just reached a thinking level two, which means he can play with blocks now. And by watching Brody go potty, Jen can now use the potty all on her own, and she has reached a potty level skill. So good job, Jen. And Brody can has now reached potty level two. So very good. Both of the kids are coming along. Okay, everyone is home from school, and Vivienne has an A, Kaylin has a B, Ariana has an A, and Jonathan has an A. So that means we will be aging up and moving out our three teenagers. So let's let's get started. We're going to start first with Vivienne. Apparently she's going to come out here to age up. So, I mean, okay, cool. All right, so Vivienne was an extreme sports enthusiast, so we're going to put that back for her and randomize her last trait. And she is going to be hot-headed, a dog lover, and lazy, which kind of goes against the whole extreme sports enthusiast thing, but okay. And Vivienne has graduated with honor. All right, and next will be Ariana, who we will come and age up. Now, Ariana is an admired icon, so she will actually be rolling for a new trait when she ages into a young adult. So for her, we are going to do a random number generator, and we're going to go between 1 and 15. We got 11, which is nature. So for this one, then we're going to roll between 1 and 8. We got a 6, which is country caretaker. Then we'll randomize this, and they got insider. And Ariana has also graduated with honors, so well done, Ariana. And then lastly is going to be Jonathan. And Jonathan was a freelance botanist, so he's going to continue to be that. And then his last trait is going to be a loner. And he also graduated with honors. All right, so we've got these three aged up, and they are pretty much ready to move out. So we are going to go and move out the three that have aged up now. And I think since we moved Jocelyn to Sulani, we're going to go ahead and just move Vivienne in with them just for simplicity's sake. I don't know that they necessarily would be super thrilled to be living together, but we're going to just do that for the sake of simplicity. 
And then we are also going to move out Jonathan and Ariana. Wait, not Kaylin though. And because Ariana wanted to be a country caretaker, we're gonna move them into Henford on Bagley. I think we'll move them into this house right here and kick out this person. So they can move in there. And then this is kind of crazy. There's only three kids in this house. There have not been three kids in this house, like ever, because we had two sets of twins. But Catherine is pregnant with the next child and will be having the baby anytime now. All right, Catherine has gone into labor. So let's head off to the hospital and have this baby. So the parent of this child is Vanessa Jiang, who has been a good friend of Catherine's for a long time. They finally were successful in trying for a baby. So that is that this baby donor. So baby number 10 is on the way. All right, here we go. Catherine is in the delivery room getting ready to have this baby. And we've had a girl. So we're going to pick a name for this girl. And we're going to go with Sierra. So baby number 10 is Sierra. Oh my gosh, and it was twins again. I guess because we moved the others out that made it possible to have twins. This one is a boy and we will name him Odin. Okay, so we've had another set of twins. That was completely unexpected because we thought that since when Catherine got pregnant, the house only had one open slot. There would just be one baby, but we were wrong. And we just had another set of twins. So we have added Sierra and Odin to the family. And so we've now had 11 babies with Catherine. We are in the double digits. And since we've just had these babies, we've had a lot of people age up and move out. This is already kind of a longer episode because we wanted to get through the weekend anyway. We're gonna end it here. So lots has happened. 11 kids, three have moved out. We're moving, we're moving along with, with this. So thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.